Um, but perhaps maybe for the new listeners, maybe you could answer this question. Why do you hold the opinion that Gog and Magog have already been released in the world, despite there apparently being clear narrations that they will be released after the descent of Esau? I have written a book on this subject and uh, they know my views already. In the Hadith, after Nabi Isa Islam returned, the Messiah has returned. And after he has killed Dajjal, then the Hadith says that Allah will send Gog and Magar. And the first of them will pass by the Sea of Galilee. This is the first of them to pass after the killing of Dajjal. They'll pass by the Sea of Galilee and drink the water. And by the time the last of them all pass, they say there used to be water here. So whatever remains in the Sea of Galilee as water, when Jesus comes, whatever remains will quickly dry up, quickly dry up. And the Sea of Galilee becomes dry. The Hadith is that Allah will send God and Magad and they'll be heading past the Sea of Galilee to Jerusalem. So they'll be coming from the north. It's a geography. And Allah will destroy Gog and Magog in Jerusalem. So Gog and Magog have a destiny connected with Jerusalem because Allah will destroy them in Jerusalem. Now we leave Surah al and we go to Surah al -Ambiya. And in Surah al Anbiya, we have a different word, not Ba'atha, Futihad. Futihad is to release, Ba'atha is to send. We are more concerned with the word Futihad because Zulkarnain built a barrier and it has to be north of Jerusalem. And on one side, there is the sea, the Black Sea, Ainun Hamiya. Uh, Imam uh, Ibn Kathir recognized it in his tafsir as the Black Sea. And on the other side is the Caspian Sea, and between are the Caucasus Mountains. And, it, and that's where he built the barrier. And when he built the barrier, Gog and Magog could neither penetrate nor could they scale. They can't be angels because they commit facade, angels don't. They can't be jinn because jinn could fly over the barrier, they could pass through the barrier. So therefore the only other creatures created by Allah are human beings. Only human beings. So Gog and Magog are human beings, but they are human beings who have a power that even Zulkarnain could not resist. He cannot destroy them. So they are the most powerful people that mankind will ever witness in history. And when they are released, Allah will bring down the barrier. A people who are human beings, who have a power unmatched in history, not even Zulkarnain can match their power, but who use their power to commit facade. These people are released by Allah. And when they are released by Allah, then says Surah to Ambiya, a people who belong to a town, a town which was destroyed by Allah. This is verses 95 and 96 of Surah to Ambiya. It doesn't matter if I explain this verse a million times, they, it doesn't, they don't register. It goes out of one ear and go, but the other people listening can understand because they have intelligence. They have common sense, they have wisdom, they can understand. A town which is destroyed by Allah. And the people who were expelled, and a ban was placed on them that they could never return to reclaim that town as their own. Hatta until when? Is a footy had huge man. Until Allah brings down the barrier and Gog and Magog are released into the world. And when they are released in the world, 
they spread out all over the world. This will be an event which will occur only once in history. That a people with irresistible power, who use their power to oppress and to corrupt, will spread out all over the world and can take control of power in the world. When they do that, then these people will bring that people who were expelled from that city, bring them back to that town to reclaim it as their own. Which town is it? Even a schoolboy will know that Gog and Magog are connected with Jerusalem. But the rest of the world can think. Gog and Magog are located in modern Western civilization. I have this lecture on Monday night here in London. Yeah. Gog and Magog are not only located in Western civilization, rather they are those who control power. Mm. Not all of Western civilization, Gog and Magog. Mm. Yesterday there was a mammoth de demonstration in London. Mm. A mammoth demonstration in London. Today is there any news about it? They were all protesting yesterday. Mm. The newspapers are silent, <laughs> protesting against protesting against all of these things. But you don't hear about it in the news because Gog and Magog are those who control power. They control the media. They control the armed forces. They control the political system. Those are Gog and Magog. And on Judgment Day, let me warn them, on Judgment Day, you will have to answer for having betrayed the Quran.